Um, okay, National College in 11 terms. That's not too bad, really, is it? Uh, we can live with that. Um, Immortals, again, I'm just going to get you to rest to there. Archers, you come back to here. Immortals, I'm just going to get you to heal on that tile. It really doesn't make much of a difference, but, um, but there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I want to time my attack on Japan. I want to time that attack so that um, I go and I can use my representation ability to get me the Golden Age um, as I attack. Fighting in the golden and in a Golden Age for Persia is just brilliant. It's really, really good. Um, and I, I will show you more of that once um, once we get to that point. Just get everyone to fortify. Do 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 do. Fortify again. Fortify. Wonderful. So let's just take a quick look at the demographics, see what's happening. You can see I do have the most soldiers, that's quite good. England have the least, interestingly. Now, I never believed this because I had a feeling that Navy doesn't get included properly in the soldiers' camp. I've, I've had games where I've had battleships out of the wazoo and it's been, been last on, on soldiers. And you sort of look there and go, no, that, that's rubbish. Like, I clearly have the most. But um, there we go. Uh, you can see, oh, uh, manufactured good, uh, gold, uh, goods, manufactured goods and GMP. We're doing really well on, actually. Um, we're above average on, on population. Crop yield is really low because we're unhappy. That's going to shoot right up once we have started uh, working these camps. As you can see, four turns away from being able to get the furs into my territory. Uh, those workers have finished on that plains there, uh, which is fine. We need to, again, I'm just going to get all of these special, special bits and pieces. I don't want to be building farms anywhere more than I have to, really, um, because we can, we can get a lot of, um, of trading posts down later in the game. Again, I will explain all that a bit later. Mathematics, woohoo! We could build the hanging gardens if we wanted to, but there's no real point. <laughs> there's no real point at all. So... So, 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 we're not going to build the pyramids this game. The extra two warriors that you get, would it, all that would do is it would chop into our um, gold income, uh, which would which would let us have less army. It's it, it just, for me, I don't think it works. So, um, you can see we've built one, two, three immortals already. It's going to take us... Um, let's, have a, let's have a quick look. 19... 31, 50 turns. It's going to take us less than 50, say 40 turns to get to civil service. Um, so we're going to have enough time to build a few more immortals before we get it. So until then, we're okay. Until then, we're okay. As you can see here, our gold is, is beginning to struggle a little bit. Um, we're going to go into negative gold pretty soon. But that is fine. We All we're using our gold for at the moment is, is to... Um, is to to basically give us more army so um that's fine we can we can live with that we're just also waiting for london to to found their religion and to to reform it as well that will be handy we can start spreading that religion around um you can see a plus one faith per turn that's uh, it's not going to give us much if that actually what i'm going to do is for now i'm going to sell our shrine and it gives us that maintenance back there's just no point at this early stage getting faith um we might want to think about getting it a bit later but we need to see what some you know we we need to let everyone play their play their religious hands before we go all in on on, on trying to to build a religion or or, or you know getting faith um, Sophia and England are now allies. That's fine. I should probably think about doing some of these city-state quests, actually. Seeing as I've got so much standing army. Um, should we do that? Yeah, let's get these immortals to do that. Okay, so we finished the monument here. Um... Do, 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 do. I'm a strong believer in sticking granaries in every city. Um, it, just by having that two extra food means normally you can work an extra production tile. 
and that normally means that you can you can end up building more from there, uh, which is which is pretty good. So tempted to do that, but we could be spending this time building a catapult. Let's build a catapult. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, the worker has got the camp. That's all been made. That is good. So we're still on to happiness. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to flick the gold focus on my capital just to stop it from growing a little bit. I'd like the other cities to catch up. And while we're limited on happiness, I'd like those to catch up first. Um, which is fine. I need that bison tile to be taken as well. Um, pretty quickly. That would be handy. Um, okay, what can these workers do? These can build on this uh, wheat field here. Again, even though we don't want our capital to grow, the more food tiles we've got, the more production tiles that we can work. So it sort of is a sort of inadvertent benefit here. England are continuing their expansion. Interesting. See how that goes for them. I'm not very literate. That's fine though. We're going to get the National College and it'll be great. Um, oh, a circus is good. It's a maintenance-free happiness boost. Um, but let's build a catapult first. Let's get that catapult done. Um, let's get this sorted. Immortal. Right, let's get the immortals um, over and doing this uh, embankment, uh, encampment city quest. I think that would be handy to have. Shall I get a third one coming along for the ride? There's no point bringing three, really, as a... Let's just leave this guy there. No point at all. Now, um, I think, actually, being able to finish up on our army and then finishing up on... Uh, getting our golden mage, I think it's all going to coincide in roughly the same time. Which is good. I'm just going to flick my two little cities to food focus. It's not going to make any difference because the food tiles that they can work are pretty much non-existent. Um, but I just want them to sort of grow, not at the expense of my capital. If you see what I mean, I, I do need that to. I do need them to sort of pick up the slack a little bit. Um, immortals, you just wait there. I have a feeling another encampment will be made there down there at some point. This could be a problem, actually. If, if England make a saddle down there, then we might not be able to get through to that, that city-state. Oh, well. What can you do? <laughs> Just moving everybody. Moving everybody. Okay, cool. Right, we've got those horses. Um, we're two turns away from border growth, and we're going to be getting that iron in two turns. I'm just going to move these workers ready to get that iron once it once it gets made. Again, really, I, I want it to be getting that bison tile, but I don't want to be buying or using my gold at all because I, I'm going to need that gold as a, as a treasury surplus for when, um, when my army gets a little bit out of control. Especially when Japan goes to war with us and we lose that, um, we lose that uh, four gold per turn. Uh, Elizabeth still can't give us anything. Come on. Let's just see if Japan's got any more money. No, they've minus two now. Ha! So actually their trade with us is, is crippling their economy slightly, which is quite fun. It's not bad at all, really, is it? Okay, yep, so they've pretty much blocked it. Um, and I imagine they're just going to be ranging that, that from now. So there's no point. We may as well just bring our guys back. No point, Jeff. No point at all. Do, 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 do. 21. So they have built walls around Kyoto now, which is, um, that shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. Fingers crossed it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, we've finished the National College. Yes, and we've got a brilliant science boost from it. Let's build a circus quickly, um, just to get that extra bonus uh, happiness, just to let our cities grow a little bit more. We want we want to do that. Um, immortals, you can wait there. Here we go. Oh, 
God, it is cold down here. My hands are freezing. Oh, blimey. So, to be honest, we've got the National College by 900 BC. It's, it's not a bad, not a bad start to the game. We're, we're doing a on points. Um, we haven't built any wonders and we're still in third. So that's pretty good. I would say that's a result in itself. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. So it looks like we've... Um, oh, there we go. These bison are now free. Done. Amazing. Okay, so let's go Let's go and get those bison. Um, that'll give Hilltop Outpost a lot more in the way of food to work. Should be good. Um, and it'll start to grow a little quicker as well. Now, I'm probably going to build farms along the river. I think that would be good because uh, the civil service, when I get that, obviously that will, um, it will help a lot in terms of um, giving us that bonus food. But the rest of these tiles I'm going to leave for um, trading posts. Let's just check quickly and see if any of these ones haven't been worked. I've, I've worked most of our tiles that have something on it. Not Oh, not the deer tiles though. All right, let's get, let's get our workers over and get some extra production from those deer. That'd be handy. Especially from a deer reserve who, who don't, they don't really have much in the way of production. So that will go well for them. You can see these horses giving food and three hammers. That's a really good tile as horses to have. Can you imagine if I'd gone for an Attila the Hun playthrough with all of these horses? I mean, one, two, three. I think I had four or five, didn't I, at one point? In the sort of surrounding area. Yeah, that, that would have been a really good Attila start, wouldn't it? There we go. Um, let's just keep going, keep going. Forever Golden is, is doing well, actually. Um, let's just check how many turns we've got before civil service. 10, 21 turns, so... We have enough to be building another two immortals, I think. Turns, I mean. Should be fun. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be good. Um, so, one of the benefits of being in a golden age, and obviously as Persia, we're going to have nice long golden ages, but generally you get more culture, which is fab. Um, you also get a lot of extra gold. So every tile that gives us gold, so we've got a few of those really. One, two, three, uh, four, but I can see obviously five. So we're going to get another five gold from them, just, just from them, which is really handy, um, just by being in the Golden Age. So we can go down to about minus five in gold and, and still be okay. Um, the other good thing is obviously Persia gets a lot of, of combat bonuses from it. Um, actually, let, let me explain that once we get into combat. There's no point going too early on that. 